So supraventricular tachycardia is a heart rhythm disturbance where your heart beats in a very fast and regular manner, uh, often above 150 beats per minute and sometimes close to 200. Um, uh, it's due to abnormalities of the electrical circuits within the heart. Um, it's a very common condition affecting uh, quite a lot of the population uh, and it can in particular affect young people. So the key thing to diagnose SVT is for us to do some sort of tracing of your heart rhythm when you're getting symptoms. Usually that involves a person getting a, an ECG when they're having their palpitations, when they can feel their heart racing away. Um, but there are other forms of ECG that you can do, um, some where you can record the heart rhythm yourself on a, on a smartwatch, for example, um, or an ECG monitor, which we might place on for you in one of our heart clinics. In the vast majority of cases, uh, SVT, supraventricular tachycardia, is a benign condition. It can give you very troubling symptoms, particularly if your heart is racing away very quickly. But in the vast, vast majority of cases, it is not life-threatening. Uh, it is a, it's a condition which can give you troubling symptoms, uh, but it can usually be treated um, with medication and other procedures, which I'll talk about later. So broadly speaking, there are three treatments for SVT. One is to do nothing if your symptoms are very infrequent. And if you do have a bad episode, either going to hospital or taking a tablet if needed. The second is to take regular medications to try and prevent the episodes. Uh, and then the third is something called an ablation procedure, which is potentially curative. And we say in over 95% of cases, if you find and get rid of the electrical circuit causing the SVT, it can get rid of it for you permanently. Um, and for some people, that's the best treatment because it means they don't need to take any medicines and they're not troubled by the symptoms. So it depends on the SVT, to be honest. So if you have uh, symptoms which can come on and come off um, and are of short duration, apart from giving you really troubling symptoms uh, and having an impact on your quality of life, uh, it tends not to cause too many problems. If you leave your heart rate running at a very high rate for a prolonged period of time, you can become quite unwell with that. Um, so it's really critical that if the symptoms don't abate or terminate by themselves, uh, you should go to A&E or call for help. 